Okay, so not having it back with some Saints Row the Third gameplay. I'm really liking this game. This is a uh, this is a mission where we have to crash the party. Basically, we have to ride up in this dude's um, this uh, Belgian syndicate's headquarters, basically, and we have to run through a bunch of their people and you know just clean them out because they've been starting shit with us since uh, since we since we came to the city. Uh, this game has a really good storyline. Uh, you end up in this in this place and you this city because because you got ran out of your old city and you have to basically start from scratch. And this is different than Grand Theft Auto because in Grand Theft Auto you literally start from the bottom. You start in this shitty apartment and you start you, you can find the one part in the city and if you try to leave that part of the city then you automatically get five stars and then the army and all the cops are after you. This game is different. They give you a a, a lot of um they they allow you to rise quicker than say a grand theft auto now you do start in a pretty shitty apartment at first but that's only for a couple missions and even when you start off in that apartment you still are able to go anywhere in the city and if you build up enough money you could buy properties and like i, I bought um I, I bought tattoo parlors i bought plastic surgery places i bought um uh, clothing stores and then I mean those are places that you can actually go inside and and utilize and there are other places that you can buy that you can't go inside but they give you revenue it's the whole thing like back in uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City you know when you bought places and they gave you money and and um and things like that but um it's uh it's it's faster paced which I like because um I don't like how Grand Theft Auto confines you to that one part in the city and then you have to do all these stupid missions just so you can, you know, all this other crap. And that, and I, I hope that the next Grand Theft Auto is different and I, and I really hope that they take cues from this game. Uh, the only downfall to this game about the uh, property, you know, buying properties and everything and territory is that I wish they had more... Um, uh, variety in the type of businesses that you can own you know because I have like five tattoo parlors and you know things like that and then five might be stretching it but I have more than one and more than one plastic surgery places and everything so I mean it's kind of it's it's good the idea is good but they just I wish they had added more variety but um but it, beyond that it's still a great game and I still enjoy playing it the more I play it the more I get into the storyline the more I go through the missions the more I explore the city the more I use the different weapons and go through the different you know I just the more I explore and discover new parts of this game the more I like it so um I'm gonna just keep, I, I'm keep this game in the rotation and um, I really see myself beating this game. I have a problem with beating games because I get a lot of games in and then some games get shelved and I don't get back into them until, you know, months down the road. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the bomb that that uh, I just armed and now we have to go take this elevator and um, try to get upstairs to the mob boss. but. Uh, as you can see here in a minute, we're going to hit a, uh, a little detour and have to fight some more people before we get up there. But uh, but anyway, I, I'm really liking this game, man. I really love this game. Uh, the uh, the guns are, are okay. You know, I don't expect them to have the sound from Battlefield 3, you know, being realistic and all. But they're, they're livable. Yeah, I can live with that. Uh, the uh, vehicle controls, the physics of the vehicles are pretty awesome. They let you um, do a lot of customization to your, to damn near everything in this game. Your characters, your uh, your fellow gang members, your yourself, and um, it's really good. Like one of the first uh, missions was that we had to come and take over this penthouse, and then you got this penthouse and. It, and just compare that to I, I hate to go back to Grand Theft Auto but that's the only game that I can think of that's really like on the same as this game but let's take that back let's compare that to Grand Theft Auto it would take you a while to be able to get a, a penthouse like that to work your way up to that so you know it's just it, 
this game has taken a lot of things from Grand Theft Auto and refined them and given in, in the end product is something that is enjoyable and it's fun and it keeps you wanting to play more and I don't I you know I don't want to put this game down I want to keep playing it and I would love to just sit home and play it again and again and again and again and again until I beat it but you know I just have I have to stick to my rotation um, I definitely am, am a fan of this series now and I got the second game for free and I started playing that game and that game is enjoyable too uh, the controls are different which is kind of um, weird but uh, they're not difficult to uh they're not difficult to learn so it was easy for me to pick up and transition between the two games so um man i cannot say enough good things about this game uh right now we're just running through you know tearing up their uh different gang members and uh there is a part that's coming up where i actually end up one of my one of my uh gang members my my fellow gang members gets killed so uh, I have to restart, but um, I just cut to what we the same part, you know, after the game loaded instead of waiting it, having to wait for going through the loading screen and everything. This video was like, uh, was it 18 minutes? It was like 18 minutes long. I had to cut a lot of it out of it. I had to, <laughs> I had to cut a lot of footage out of the video, so uh, to uh, narrow it down, I leaned it up, but I kept all the action in there so you can all get a gist of what's going on. Uh, it was a really interesting way that you get rid of your uh, your notoriety in this game is what they call it. You know how you get you see the stars around the uh, the uh, radar on the lower left hand side. Okay, and to get rid of that, all you have to do is run into a building that you own, and you just you sit there and you wait for your notoriety to go away you basically just run into the building and you chill out so if i have let's say i'm on the street and i get five stars okay well i can go and run into let's say a tattoo parlor and i just chill in there for a little while and that'll just you know cool off everything and it's almost like whatever i did just goes away and that goes for cops and um fellow gang members it's worked for me I've had the cops chasing me and I run into a building that I've owned and then, you know, it just goes away. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Um, you get so much money an hour for the property that you own. So um, you have to log into your cell phone. You press select and then you go down to cash and then you download um, however much money is owed to you an hour into your bank account. And then you go ahead and you buy more properties and you buy more guns and you go here and there. And, you know, getting guns is easy. You just go into your ammo store and then you buy all the ammo and you, you can upgrade your guns and and. Um, you just press on like I have a damn Reaper, <laughs> you know, um, I, it doesn't really hold that many weapons. Maybe later on down the, in, in the game, I can get it to where I can add more weapons to it or upgrade it. But for right now, it's awesome, but it doesn't have that much ammo. Um, let's see, you have like an AK-47 type gun. I've already uploaded that, uh, well, upgraded that to the next level, which is a uh, level 2 and it has a red dot sight on it and i think it has like a rapid fire attachment um but yeah the, the guns are very customizable right now you see me i was hanging from a chandelier and then i'm dropping down to the bottom to catch the mob boss as he tries to escape my crew and i don't play that shit. so i'm gonna have to go down there and i'm gonna have to rectify the situation i'm getting attacked by a clone you just saw the naked man that naked man is actually the uh the basis of all these clones like that one i just shot right there and um he he hates the, the the people that held him captive so now he's he's he works for us now the dude is huge he's really gonna come in handy um right now i crash down into the bottom i see the dude right there i'm like ah uh, i'm like nah fuck that it's at the end um i actually I, I crashed the globe onto the mob boss so he's done and now i have a choice to make it's either i disarm the bomb and keep this building for uh, a, a cash bonus or I blow the building up and send a message to everybody that the Saints are not fucking around what am I gonna do am I gonna disarm the bomb or am I gonna blow the building up of course in Saints fashion I send the message to the whole city and I blow the fucking building up I blow the top off the building amazing these are some really big missions I mean 
you get to blow up a building for crying out loud. And what that did was just gave me an extra 10% respect bonus. And um, I'd rather take that over money uh, in this game. It, it seems to be a better choice. And I got a nice little RC. What is that? Um, just, it's like a little RC machine gun type deal. That's awesome. And then there's a uh, homeboy. But anyway, um, this video is, is over. Um, I'm not having it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my videos and comment on them. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. And um, I have a lot of good content that's already been uploaded. Um, this has been a Game Caviar production. Saints Row the Third. I'm not having it. And I'm out.